Did you know that the Apollo 11 mission was not just a step for man, but a giant leap for mankind? Picture this. It's a hot summer day on July 16, 1969. The world is buzzing with anticipation and trepidation. The Apollo 11 mission is set to launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Its goal is not just to break the boundaries of Earth's atmosphere, but to transport humans to the moon for the very first time. The three brave astronauts chosen for this historic mission are Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. These men are not just astronauts, they are pioneers, chosen to represent all of humanity in this unprecedented journey into the unknown. Neil Armstrong, a decorated Navy pilot and the mission's commander, is set to be the first man to step foot on the moon. Buzz Aldrin, a mechanical engineer and a colonel in the Air Force, will join Armstrong on the lunar surface. Michael Collins, an experienced test pilot and the crew's command module pilot, will orbit the moon alone while his colleagues make history below. This mission is the culmination of a decade's worth of work, of countless trials and errors, of successes and heartbreaking failures. It's the realization of President Kennedy's promise, made eight years earlier, to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth by the end of the decade. As the countdown begins, the astronauts take their places in the command module, a tiny capsule atop a 36-story Saturn V rocket. The world watches on, hearts pounding in chests, as the rocket's engines roar to life. The ground shakes, the air fills with the sound of raw power, and then lift off. The Saturn V rocket carrying Apollo 11 and its precious human cargo soars into the sky, leaving a trail of fire and smoke in its wake. The mission to land a man on the moon is underway. As they rocketed into the unknown, the world held its breath, waiting to see if the unimaginable could truly become reality. Imagine the thrill of setting foot on a terrain no human had ever touched, a world away from home. This was the reality for the Apollo 11 mission crew on July 20th, 1969, a day that would forever be etched in history as the Eagle lunar module descended onto the moon's sea of tranquility. Commander Neil Armstrong was the first to venture out of the spacecraft, followed by Buzz Aldrin. As Armstrong set his foot onto the lunar surface, he uttered words that would echo through time. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was a statement that encapsulated the enormity of their feat, a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Armstrong and Aldrin spent about two and a half hours outside the spacecraft, a time filled with activities meticulously planned and rehearsed. They planted the American flag, a symbol of the nation's accomplishment. They collected lunar soil and rock samples, precious cargo that would offer scientists unprecedented insight into the moon's composition and history. The astronauts also set up experiments designed to gather data on the moon's environment. One such experiment, the Passive Seismic Experiment, aimed to detect moonquakes and provide information about the moon's internal structure. Another, the Laser Ranging Retro Reflector, was installed to measure the distance between the Earth and the moon with high precision. They left behind a plaque on the lunar module, a message to future spacefarers and a testament to their incredible journey. It read, Here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, A.D., we came in peace for all mankind. The astronauts had not only reached the moon, but they had also walked on it, forever etching their names in the annals of human history. The moon landing was not just a technological triumph, but also a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It was a dream realized, a milestone in our quest to understand our place in the universe. But the mission was not over yet, for the astronauts had to make the perilous journey back to Earth. The final leg of Apollo 11's voyage was no less daunting than its departure, or the moon landing itself. On July 24, 1969, four days after taking that one giant leap for mankind, the brave crew of Apollo 11 re-entered Earth's atmosphere, their spacecraft hurtling towards the Pacific Ocean at an incredible speed. The splashdown, as it's known, was a tense moment. The world held its breath as the command module Columbia, its heat shield facing forward to absorb the intense heat of re-entry, descended rapidly towards the ocean. Then, with a relief that echoed around the globe, 
the parachutes deployed, slowing the spacecraft and allowing it to make a relatively gentle landing in the Pacific Ocean. The astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins were immediately placed in quarantine. This was a precautionary measure as scientists were not certain whether the moon might harbor unknown pathogens. For 21 days, they remained in isolation, their only contact with the outside world being through the glass walls of their containment unit. But once they emerged, the celebrations began. They were hailed as heroes, not just by their fellow Americans, but by people all around the world. Parades were held in their honor in cities across the globe. They were awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian award in the United States. They met with world leaders and were lauded for their courage and the success of their mission. The return of Apollo 11 marked a moment of collective joy and pride. The whole world rejoiced in the achievement, an affirmation of the indomitable human spirit and our capacity for exploration and discovery. It was proof that with courage and determination, we can reach beyond the boundaries of our known world and achieve what might seem impossible. The Apollo 11 mission was a testament to human ingenuity and determination, a symbol of what we can achieve when we dare to dream. So, what was the lasting impact of this historic mission? The Apollo 11 mission was a scientific goldmine. It not only brought back lunar rocks for study, but also provided invaluable data on the moon's geology, seismic activity, and thermal properties. This wealth of knowledge has revolutionized our understanding of the solar system. But the impact of Apollo 11 was more than scientific. It was a geopolitical chess move in the height of the Cold War, demonstrating America's technological prowess and potential. This moon landing was a powerful message of peace and unity, echoing around the world and through the cosmos. Perhaps most importantly, the mission inspired generations to look up at the stars and dream, it sparked a passion for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in countless young minds. It showed us that the impossible could be possible, that the sky was not the limit, but the starting line. From that day forward, space was no longer a frontier, but a new realm of possibility. The Apollo 11 mission didn't just take us to the moon, it pointed the way to the future.